Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and to subscribe my channel for more videos and today in this video that I'm going to talk about radio button and radio groups and I want to I'm and I'm going to show how, what is the difference between radio button and radio groups right and I'm typing here radio group and then I'm going to finish it and here in main package that I'm going to create the JFM on form radio button and then this my form that in in this form that I'm going to write something and write is taking time and in this form that you want to go some you want to do something right this is my form inside this form that I'm going to use panel and drag it like this yeah and right click on it go to properties and change the background if you want change if done you don't want change and put it like this simply just I'm going to take one pink color and then yeah and inside this that I'm going to write on text panel and I want to write here radio button and radio group and I'm going to change this size of this font to bold and 36 of size and then I want to change the color of text and this is fully completely white and if you want to change the border then give your border also line border or what border you want to give right yeah I want to change to true and it seems like this yeah now take one panel right this one panel and copy it and control V just drag it over here yeah in, instead of doing that just what I, what I want to do is just I will delete this and first the first for the first time that I'm going to decorate it I want to give border for it border 2 and then color whatever color that I like whatever color whatever you like just change to then put it there yeah this is radio button and control C control V and then let it drag over here right now drag radio button some radio button inside this and then just what you need to do is change here T and price dollar 1.5 change the font size bold 24 and then copy it copy it paste it yeah change text copy dollar to two dollar and just five dollar and control V check it out to write yeah
and here that I'm going to change gender male or female female and next is other right and from this you are going to see what is the difference between radio buttons and radio group right so now if here I'm going to take one label and in this label that I'm gonna give font bold and 36 and I want to highlight it with red and then I'm going to write here yeah text as versus right yeah and I'm going to take one button And then I'm going to write here, test it. And then I'm I'm going to properties to change something. This background, you want change foreground, change the foreground. And then you want change the font size, change font size, bold, 24, and finish it. Right now that one of what I'm going to do is here I want to change variable name T T for T C for coffee and J for juice J for juice and here M for male F for female and J for Oh, all for other. Yeah. Let me run this. Good source code. And run it. To run this program, just right click on it and to run it, run file. And you will get output. And in this, that we just take only radio buttons we haven't applied to radio groups and just that is what I did is to show what is the difference you know like yeah instead of doing this just what you do is that's it see while you are clicking on its radio buttons it is clicking right see it is clicking for every radio button but what we need is at a time we need only one button to do that just finish it and go design and there is one radio radio group right radio group yeah drag and drop it here and go to navigator right and in your navigator there is one radio button radio group and give give name for this radio group and then just what you need to do is I will apply for first these three and then after that we'll apply for another one and go to properties and there's one radio button yeah instead of doing that just, uh, just select it and go to pro properties and it will give here button group right here button group now select here yeah we have one radio group that's fine now we already selected that and we'll see because we applied for only three 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 radio buttons right male female and other now see you are clicking on male and for second time you are clicking on female yeah it is shifting from male to female right other but we haven't applied for these three tea coffee and juice now still it is working like that see right if you want to make it, you are clicking only once for a time, then go to design and again select this 
these three and go to properties apply the same in button group select and give radio button radio group then it will load for sure yeah this is how it works but what we do with this we, we, do, we use only one radio button so that it is taking that that much time but if you need different different for radio button means uh, drag this radio group to here and go to your navigator give radio button name another radio button that is radio group group one and that what, what I want to do is I want to select this thing right and then I'm selecting this I, I'm going to properties and here it will show now too right yeah there's no link between these things then we'll get the exact output what we what we want and see guys now it's working properly see coffee you are able to choose only once because you are using radio button and in this side also you are able to choose only once now that what we want to do is here how to get those values there right so in test option go to events action action perform and on clicking here just you, you need to check if for t t dot is checked right you heard yeah once you want variable name for this yeah t for t copy right now go to source and give t dot it is so this this function is selected right if you selected that one now you just need to do what you want to do is now you want to show message message that j there is one class called j option pen j option pen dot show message show message dialog and pass your null and then give your message you select it t and then give here the option pen dot cancel option or something or error message give your Okay, cancel option. Yeah, we, we want to hear. You just give something. What what you want us give here? Yeah. Fine. Now. Now what what you want is just here. The option pin dot. default option right and then semicolon but you wanna include this instead of doing that just what you do is I'm gonna write system dot message t dot what you, what you want to display there on your console is T dot get text yeah if they're selecting coffee that is selected 
then you can write this control C control V but you can type here copy C dot get text else else then you can get this dot get text right else if and in, in other side that what, what you want to do is if yum dot he selected then you can write here yum dot get text if f dot is selected then you can write female for that female else that what, what you want to do is you want to write other dot get text right now run it right click and run it you will get output and then you'll get the output on this console you know like yeah the mouse is not working now right now let it work work for some time it will work but then we'll come to the topic yeah it's working now now copy email and see guys you'll get output here down and go to output C copy two dollars and female that you are getting output even click next time T and mail it will print T and mail yeah T mail and other right because it is clicking for the first time it's not taking that so it's how it works read a button if you like this video, just like, subscribe my channel.